Hello everyone, uh, I'm here in Macon, uh, Georgia, and I wish I was here a little bit earlier, but uh, I've been driving for about seven hours, and uh, I only got about 45 minutes left before the park closes. I am at... Uh, Okmulgee National Monument, uh, very close uh, to Macon, and that consists of uh, a number of Indian mounds. And this is probably the one that's uh, most accessible. Oh, it's uh, <laughs> very low, and it's nice that Joey can come along. Uh -oh. <laughs> That's an experience. This one has been excavated and I suppose it's original. It's uh, very similar to uh, the Kivas uh, in the southwest, but those are underground. There's several, there's several mounds and there's even an old battlefield as well. In 1873, the railroad uh, plowed through here, removed part of uh, one mound, probably the area where the playground was, where they played stickball. But that was a time, yeah, those things were less important. But the area has been occupied for uh, at least the last 10,000 years by Native Americans. So it has a long history, <laughs> Joey. It has a long history uh, of occupation. Most of these mounds are likely to be constructed between nine and sixteen hundred years ago. There's still one place I can visit, and that's the Great Mound. You can see we're very close to downtown Macon. It has a beautiful view of the surroundings. Yeah, this is a place that I will return and spend half a day or so when I'm back in the area. It's uh, 10 to 5. Close your time. So I have to get back to the car. Joey, you too. Yeah, slowly. Take it easy. Take it easy. Check that out. Let's see.
was my camp. This was my uh, camping spot this morning. It's the next day now uh, from where I camped last night and I arrived here at a seemingly ordinary pile of uh, rocks. This place is called Rock Hawk uh, Effigy. Some closer inspection from this tower reveals another picture. And it's, it's, a, it's a small mound uh, and dates back probably about maybe between a thousand and three thousand years. While film was very clear, you can make out the, the shape of a bird of prey. And it's about 100 feet long and 120 feet wide. Only about 50 miles away is a very similar effigy called the Rock Eagle Effigy, which is much better preserved. And it still has an original rock tower built in the 1930s. I know what kind of bird it was intended to portray. Uh, a buzzard was a symbol of death amongst uh, local indigenous uh, peoples. Uh, so it would have been uh, quite a fitting uh, image for a burial mound. In the 1700s, this area was occupied by the Spanish and it flourished here. And amongst others, there was a, a grist mill and there's still uh, only a few ruins like these left. There's not much left of this bridge and I don't think, let me just walk around it, I think that's safer. And you can see the foundation here for a small bridge. It used to be a creek, of course, and maybe it's still a fully functioning creek during the wet season, I don't know. And then it makes more sense. This ends up in... Uh, No, I won't go any further. No stage, are we? Because it gets wet here. But that's the Okino River. I found at least a chimney, probably from one of the stores that were here. But it's a completely, there is a trail, two bridges, completely destroyed by time and no maintenance. So I think that is uh, the whole the construction is over. This is one of the former bridges. So you can still see a frame here that was filled up. It's a pity that it's not maintained anymore.
The Elder Mill uh, Covered Bridge was built in 1897, uh, but moved to this uh, current location uh, over Rose Creek in uh, 1924. And it's uh, one of the 13 operational covered bridges left in Georgia. Though many are off limits uh, for this for transit uh, that I'm driving due to the height and weight restrictions. And that's a pity. These planks are fastened with uh, wooden bags or trunnels as they say at each intersection. I've always had an interest uh, in Stonehenge and the history behind it. And I still have a few photographs from uh, when I visited the original one in the uh, UK. Uh, and that was about 50 years ago. And early this year I found a look-alike in uh, Alabama as well. Just be aware that uh, most of these uh, replicas are hollow core. Now let's continue to my uh, real destination. This bridge uh, crosses Big Clouds Creek here in Georgia. And it's one of the almost last uh, bridge, covered bridge that I uh, want to see. It was built with prison labor. And it's, uh, it's uh, the common, what they call town lattice design. It's with these uh, boards on the sides uh, that crisscross at about 40 to 60 degree angles. It's uh, Howard's Bridge was built in 1904-1905 and it's about 164 feet long. But you can see that the underside is uh, in good condition. It's just this uh, on-ramp. Oh, although I think I see some damage over here as well. But it's always nice to see that they're still maintained and that at least these few, I think about 13 uh, bridges in Georgia out of once 200 or so, that they're still uh, maintained. This is Watson Mill Bridge uh, and with uh, 229 feet, the longest covered bridge in the state of Georgia. This bridge was built in 1885 by the son of a freed slave. And at one time, George had more than 200 covered bridges. Today, less than 20 remain. Okay, I'm... Uh Late in the day, but I still had one more covered bridge on my list, uh, and that is uh, Cromer's Mill Bridge, covered bridge, it's out here. Uh, it was built in 1907, it's about 134 feet long, I think. Unfortunately, it's on private property, I couldn't miss out on this one. One more thing to show. And that is um, something that is already closed, not only today, <laughs> but for a while. But it may be, uh, may be interesting. Well, it became uh, late uh, <laughs> last night, uh, so it was all dark. Um, had to camp at a Walmart. 
Couldn't do the last thing that I had on my mind, but that stays on my list, so that's for next time. Had my first 30 degree night, so, and I slept like a baby. I'm here already at my uh, new location on the new day, but that's something you'll see in the next video. See you then. Oh, before I go, please pay attention to these uh, missing children. If you have any information, please call the appropriate number. Hi guys, this is Joey and we're building a one-of-a-kind RV. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. If you enjoyed the video, give us a like and subscribe. Or better yet, uh, leave a comment. Thanks guys. Doing a good job.